Hi, I'm Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Centers and I'm going to take a few minutes to explain to you why you might still feel sick when your doctor tells you that your lab ranges are normal or that everything's fine because your lab ranges show exactly what they expect them to show, which is nothing's wrong. These lab ranges, how they're determined is looking at them on a curve. So we take the average high and the average low, and that's going to determine what is the inside range or outside of the range. So 95% of the population is going to fall in with these normal ranges. 2.5% are going to be on the low side, 2.5% are going to be on the high side. So if you, as an individual, show up in that 95%, then your labs are going to be considered normal, even though just walk around. Go out to Walmart, go to Target, go to any restaurant in, this, in the city, go anywhere you'd like and tell me if you think that 95% of the population is healthy and you're going to get your answer why you might feel sick yet your lab ranges look normal. So on a graph I want to explain this to you. So we have abnormally high val or low values here. We have abnormally high values over here. Now this is the way your doctor is going to look at it. If it falls in that range something is wrong if it falls in this range, something is wrong, but if it falls anywhere from here to here, then everything is just fine. The Endocrine Society tightens up those, those standards, and they say, well, if we look at it and we say, what's an optimum range? What is somebody that's truly, truly healthy and well, where their range is going to fall? And that's how we look at the ranges in our office. We're looking at functional lab ranges. So instead of having high and low be here and here, we're tightening it up and saying actual perfect ranges are going to be from this range to that range. And when we start to look at it that way, can we really start to see why somebody's labs can be quote unquote normal and they feel awful. What is the, your doctor seeing when he looks at your labs? versus what the labs can actually tell us if we were looking at them in an appropriate range. So if you have a thyroid problem, if you have diabetes, if you have any metabolic problem with your health, this should be something that concerns you greatly about how you can improve your health. If you want to know what we can do to help you and find out what your labs are actually saying about your health, give us a call at Magnolia Medical Center at 615-225-9100.